je marchais dans un rêve. Tellement euh, au niveau Hollywood maintenant qui est fait sur les écrans verts et euh, CGI et tout ça. Alors ça, c'était tout fait pratiquement. C'était un, un, un homme qui s'appelle Nathan euh, Crowley qui travaille sur euh, tous les films Christopher Nolan, euh, un de mes films préférés, Interstellar, où j'avais un petit rôle. Mais euh, il fait tout pratiquement. C'était très impressionnant, je sais pas comment dire. To be honest, the shop was really, really hard to get right because uh, it's Willy Wonka's shop and you kind of go, what is, what is that? How does that feel? And uh, so we went through so much, so many different ideas And, and, and so it was a huge relief to feel that we'd captured some of the sort of spirit of it at the end. Aussi parce que c'était pas au niveau euh, cynique ou lourd, c'était pas une séquence de guerre qui a été créée avec plein de sang par terre. C'était un, un magasin énorme de chocolat où la moitié des, des trucs que, qui se voient sont bon, on pouvait manger. Alors c'était bizarre, c'était magnifique. Il, oh, il euh... a gagné beaucoup beaucoup de fois. <rire> c'était un grand problème pour la production. Ouais. 120 kilos. Il y avait un ch chocolatier. Uh, sur le plateau, n'est-ce pas? Ouais, ça. We had our own chocolate maker on the movie, uh, Gabriella Cugno, who is a complete genius. Everything that is eaten in the movie it is genuine chocolate, it is completely delicious, and it, it, it tastes as good as it looks. They're unbelievable creations. Pas pour moi, parce que j'ai fait tous mes travaux tout seul dans un petit uh, uh, studio. Un petit uh, yeah, studio? Voilà. Mais pour eux, c'était un expérience magnifique avec ce ch ch chocolatier. Ouais. Il était 120 kilos <rire> après deux semaines, n'est-ce ouais, pas Ouais, c'était... Mais après, j'ai vite, vite ouais. perdu. Ouais. La magie. Mais La avec magie. le CGI. CGI. Oh, it's CGI, yeah. 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 You were reduced. Yeah. They were reduced after the yeah. fact. I'm right, right now. Yeah. Every Monday morning, we would start with chocolate tasting, which I took very seriously. I felt it was very important that I heroically tasted everything that the actors were going to have to eat many times. And I gained about 20 kilos. It's a good metaphor for this film that the sets were real, not green screen, because the film's real. Uh, Paul King loved Roald Dahl. He loved this book and he believes in this message. Of the age I am, that was very much the movie I grew up with. I mean, I, I, I came to the book first of all, So, so that was my sort of primary love. But then, then I saw the the Gene Wilder Mel Stewart movie, and uh, I think that sort of infused in my mind with, with the book. And sometimes making this movie felt less like having to come up with an idea, and more like go, this is how it felt in my head when I was eight, and I just need to get it out. Which is a lovely way to work. It just sort of feels like you've uncovered the truth of something. Do not sell chocolate in this town. And it's not just the cynical use of a piece of Hollywood intellectual property to make money. He actually believes all this stuff. So it has a kind of authenticity, a kind of uh, analog quality that I think comes through the screen. I think Willy Wonka is a great character. I've loved making the movie and working with Timothy, and I think he's the finest actor of his generation. I think he's wonderful, and I'd seen him in Call Me By Your Name, and I thought he was mesmerizing, and I saw him in Lady Bird and realized he was wildly funny, and I met him then, and, and, and I wanted to find something to make with him because I thought he was incredibly special. Sur ce film-là, on a bien travaillé avec, avec des, des entraîneurs de, de voix et de danse. Moi, j'ai grandi dans une famille de, de... Il y avait ma mère qui a dansé sur Broadway, ma grand-mère qui a dansé sur Broadway aussi, ma soeur les danseuses. Alors j'ai grandi autour de ce monde, mais j'aimais vraiment dedans, et j'avais quand même un petit base. I also come from a family of dancers. They're soldier dancers, which is more unusual. My father was a soldier in the Scottish regiment, and they do these wonderful Scottish reels. And even now, my, my father is 95, and he can only walk with a frame, but he stands up, he holds the frame, and he does little steps. And his father was uh, a prisoner of war in Germany. And when he was there, all the, all the guys there invented new dances. It's what they did. And then they escaped. Marvelous. Dancer escapers. Is it it's true? Yeah, it's maybe true. that's my yeah. next film. I really wanted this movie to work as a companion piece to, to that movie. And so we use Pure Imagination and the Oompa Loompa song. And there's little twitches and strange little things that Gene Wilder said that Timothy uses. And uh, I, that just made me feel like a child again. Mm -hmm.